We know how important teaching vocabulary is in science class. So today I am going to show you some different ways um, that you can use vocabulary activities in your science classroom. Well, hello, I am Fleur, the face behind Aloha Monday Teaching, where I help fellow middle school science teachers like you and me be more intentional, um, refreshed, and prepared for Monday or any day. So we really enjoy our jobs. <laughs> all right, so today we are talking all about vocabulary, and this is based on um, this blog post, but, and everything is going to be linked below. I've got some short um, videos showing these different activities in practice. And let's just get started. All right, so we've got five um, ways to practice vocabulary with your students. Here's what we're going to talk about today. So first are just a few teaching strategies when it comes to teaching vocabulary in science class. Um, and then the five activities are using flashcards, vocabulary frames, matching activities, worksheets, and games. All right, let's talk strategies. So uh, when we have a ton of vocabulary words in every science unit that we teach, and some are like kids will know them and others, they might have to really learn them. <laughs> like science words with those word parts that have set like science meanings and things like that. So read the word in isolation, try to determine the meaning by its word parts. Look at the prefixes, suffixes, uh, you know, the roots, those kinds of things. Read the word in context and see if you can determine its meaning or explain its meaning from the text. So as you're reading, the kids are reading their textbooks, see if they can figure out what the word means and take notes. So while the students are learning all of these things, they should be writing down the word, the definition, some kind of visual representation is helpful for students so they can relate it to something um, or even related words, synonyms or just things that are related. Okay, so activity number one is flashcards. Now, students don't come to you knowing how to use flashcards unless if they've been taught before. So I would teach them and that way you know that they know how to use flashcards. So obviously they're gonna write the word on <clears throat> one side of the flashcard and the definition on the other. And what I do with them is highlight keywords. And when we do this, we do this together, I have the students look at the definition, pick out the words that are most important or some keywords that will help them remember the meaning of this vocabulary word. They I mean, because when they look at the definition, if you use, if you look it up somewhere else or you're reading it, it's not going to be worded exactly the same all the time. And so if they can just pick out these important words and they see it somewhere else, then they'll be able to connect it and know that that is the definition for one of their vocabulary words. After we go through highlighting, I like to quiz them. And so I will put the definition on my doc cam, my document camera. And so it'll be on the screen and the students will stand up if they know the word and then I have them say the word. And so they're picking out, they're looking at the keywords. And then they quiz each other, they quiz themselves. And it's just modeling in class how they can use their flashcards. And then I encourage them to use them at home as a study tool, because it's a very good way for students to learn um, and practice their words. Okay, second activity are vocabulary frames. And there are many out there. This is one that I've um, made over the years just from adapting all the different frames I've used over my career. So I have the students um, write the word, the definition, use it in a sentence, draw a picture. So some of those basic things, the two that are higher level are examples and characteristics. So they have to come up with um, examples and characteristics of their vocabulary word. Like for example, in the picture, this one was for climate. You can see the shorter video below. Um, then they're gonna come up with non-examples 
or non-characteristics. And that's tricky a lot of times. Um, I tell them it has to be related to the vocabulary word. You, if, it's, if the word is climate, you can't say dog is a non-example. I mean, yes, it's a non-example, but it needs to be related. I want them to make um, those relevant connections. So that's, um, and I use vocabulary frames in different settings. I'll use it in a vocabulary station. I'll use it as just um, like a warm up sometimes as bell work or as a, just an independent assignment because I want them to practice their words. Another activity is matching. You can use matching cards at a station or um, sometimes I like to use my self-checking puzzles that I've made and that way they can just check their work. Uh, so those are two types of matching activities you can do with your students. They can do this in a station as independent work, as homework. They can you know, maybe use each other's flashcards and that way they're just really looking at the definition, matching them making sure they understand it. And as an extension after this in the station, I will have them complete a vocabulary frame. I usually make them choose words that they missed matched and words of their choice. Okay, another activity to use are just worksheets. Go old school, do some worksheets because this is good practice too and it helps them prepare for any kind of standardized testing or your quiz. So, you know, you've got your fill in the blanks, um, using it in context, labeling, matching, writing out a definition. You can do all of those things on a worksheet, which can be done independently. It can be done for homework, bell work, in a station. You can do these anytime. And the fifth activity for vocabulary is playing games. You can play memory, um, bingo, they can quiz each other. Quizlet is another option online. Like all the words will be on Quizlet. They can make their own Quizlets. I'm not quite sure how that works on the student end. I just know how to use it on my end. Um, so we'll do Quizlet Live. Um, this picture is just a simple way you can make your own bingo game. You just create a table in PowerPoint or Microsoft Word, and then put some words in there or have the kids fill in the words. I've done this before too. So you can project a list of words on the screen, give them a blank table to write in, they fill in the words, and then you get your flashcards and you read the definition or show the definition and they mark the word on their own bingo card. So those are some easy ways to play bingo in class. All right, so we just went over five different activities you can have your students use to practice their vocabulary words. We did um, flashcards, vocabulary frames, matching. We talked about worksheets and games. And we also talked about teaching the vocabulary, using the reading the word in isolation, looking at its word parts, reading it in context, and then taking notes. So what new if there's any new vocabulary strategy or activity um, did you see today that you will use in your classroom? Like these are super simple to implement and you can use it with any science unit. And if you're not a science teacher, you can use it with any vocabulary word. So just reply in the comments below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out these other videos. And I put the shorts, um, the shorter videos below and some other related videos. Um, to teaching vocabulary and science.